Hello and welcome to this video from the Methodist Church to celebrate International Women's Day. With me is the Reverend Dr. Kathleen Richardson, also known as Baroness Richardson, who served in the House of Lords for 20 years until she retired in 2018. Kathleen was the first woman to become a chair of district within the Methodist Church and went on to become the first female president of the Methodist Conference in 1992. Hello Kathleen and thank you for joining us. It's a great pleasure. You were ordained in, in 1980. What changes have you seen since then? Well, there were far fewer of us in 1980. Um, I believe I was the first woman with, um, a married woman with children to be accepted for training, though there had been a number of de ex-deaconesses uh, go through into circuits before then. Um, so there were, there were not many of us. Uh, today, I suppose it would be, certainly in the last few years, women are in the majority of people accepted um, as presbyters in the Methodist Church. So there's been a, a huge shift in understanding and appreciation and, and acceptance. Yeah. Did you experience any negativity um, around your ordination? Well, it was difficult to persuade them that certainly somebody who was married with children would have time to do ministry. Um, but, um, and certainly when it came to being um, selected as Methodist chair, uh, there was a lot of negativity. Uh, it was considered that I hadn't spent long enough in ministry. Um, that I, was ne I had never been a superintendent. I couldn't possibly be put into a position of being in authority. Um, but um, the district chair is, is, is a wonderful job. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but um, yeah, there, were, there were some negative comments and they were rehearsed well in the Methodist recorder of the time. You were the first female district chair and the first female president of the Methodist Conference. Did they feel like momentous occasions at the time? I think so. A great deal, a great fuss was made about it being a first. But to me, it just seemed a logical progression, um, a continuance of the ministry that I would uh, set myself into and allowed to happen. It wasn't something that I particularly wanted or certainly sought. I didn't. It was all somebody else's idea um, that had my consent <laughs> in both cases. And it was um, so that I, I never felt I'd got anything to actually prove by being accepted. Uh, it was just one of those things that happened that I agreed to readily. <laughs> that sounds rather strange, but it's true. You mentioned earlier about the negativity. How did you deal with that? Well, I didn't, in a sense, feel it was personal, mostly because those who were negative didn't know me. It was uh, the role that was considered. Um, and because they hadn't seen it happen before, they couldn't see how it was going to work out. So I never felt really angry or aggrieved or it it didn't affect me in that way i think as i was wont to say at the time well i might not have voted for me either um so it was um yes it was just simply moving into a role that was i was being allowed to do and it felt good during the lead up to you becoming um, president of the Methodist Conference, was there a sense that the time had come for a female president? I think it was possibly, the, well, I'm sure it was the right time. By the time I was president in 1992, there had been Methodist women um, in uh, presbyteral roles for 20 years. So I think everybody felt it was the right time. Um, but the, the way it was done in those days, um, the, you had to be nominated and everybody who was nominated was put on a, on a list and people voted in conference and um, the, they took off the, the few who had least votes and voted again until in the end, the last vote, interestingly, there were two women left in the running. 
So the, the final vote was not about whether it should be a woman or not, because it was going to be a woman, but which of the women uh, was going to be. Um, and I, it didn't really, I didn't really think it would be me, but it was. <laughs> what advice would you give to women who are embarking on a career within the Methodist Church? I think seeing it as a career is quite the wrong word. It's, it's not a career with um, a basis for improvement or getting higher as you go up. It's um, an offering of the gifts that God has given you um, to be used as the church sees best. So we all go into it um, believing that God appointed us to this place at this time and that there's work for us to do. And so, yes, and being a chair or a president is not a higher form of ministry. It's just a different form of obedience. Does that make sense? It certainly does. Reverend Dr. Kathleen Richardson, also known as Baroness Richardson, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.